it was really in that moment, one of those cliche um, taking ownership, looking yourself in the mirror and realizing that everything is your fault moments. Um, and for me, that was a, a key pivotal turning point in my life was you know, realizing that all these things that I had been blaming on others, all these situations that I've been blaming on others, that it was all ultimately my fault. Everything that has happened to you and everything that you are doing, it's it's your fault. And the encouragement in that, and I've said this before, the encouragement in that is like if, if you got yourself into it, then you know, guess what? You can get yourself out of it. And that's and that's the encouraging thing. But I know still like saying that, it's like that's frustrating to hear. Like I get that. Like, oh, you're saying this and this was this was my fault. Yeah, I am. Uh, and I get like, you know, things that happened to you as a child, things that happened like, you know, things that you can't control, some of those. That wasn't your fault, but allowing it to still resonate and still fester inside you and still be causing issues 10 years later, five years later, 15 years later, that's your fault. And so for me, and, and I always get pushed back for, for whatever reason, it's always from guys about like the affair, like, oh dude, that wasn't, that wasn't your fault that she had an affair. I'm like, yeah, it was. If I had been the absolute best husband in the entire world, best environment in our home that you could ever ask for, would it have still happened? Maybe, but probably not. So it was my fault and I took ownership of that. That taking ownership for me was taking personal responsibility for every single thing that had happened in my life and knowing that I was exactly where I was supposed to be in that moment because of the decisions and things that I had done. Kind of the sick and tired of being sick and tired, that, that was me. And for me, it was about personal responsibility, taking personal responsibility. The lack of personal responsibility in this country is an absolute cancer. It's an absolute cancer. But the beginning process of taking ownership and taking personal responsibility is this understanding that everything is your fault. Everything. That's the thing about pointing the finger at someone else. Excuses. But that's the thing about forgiveness is when you forgive them and you point the finger at yourself and take responsibility of doing that, you literally take all that power back. And it's not like slowly over time, it's immediate. Like the second that you take, that you forgive that person, it's immediately you have that back. That's what a lot of this has to do with. A lot of these excuses True. are putting blame on something else and not taking blame yourself, not owning it, not that's taking right. personal responsibility. True. So if you get anything out of this, um, get that in that, any excuse when it comes out of your mouth, it is you putting the blame for your lack of something right. on something else or someone else or yep. some system or whatever that may be. But that's the key to self-awareness. Self-awareness, learning about yourself is great. Understanding yourself better is great, but it's meaningless if you don't do anything about it. You can learn. You can you can learn all about yourself, man. I, man, I know me so well. But if I don't do anything about the things I figure out about myself, then I'm not going to get anywhere. 